welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be doing another vegan meal plan for maximum weight loss, which is where I show you an ideal day of eating for weight loss on a vegan diet. I've been getting a lot of comments in the description box about how this meal plan is set around 1800 calories and how for some people, like if they ate that much, they would gain weight. And for a while I've wanted to do like a rant video explaining why I do not think 1200 calorie weight loss plans are sustainable or even like mentally safe or physically safe for people, most people, unless you are completely sedentary or in like a wheelchair or something like that. It just doesn't work for most people. And I know there's gonna be some people out there that are like, well, it worked for me and I lost like 40 pounds or something. But usually the success story goes something like, you know, back in like 2013, I was doing a 1200 calorie weight loss plan and I lost 40 pounds in six months and they kept it off for a year or something like that, but now they're back to their highest weight and yada, yada, yada. Which that is the general theme. Most people cannot keep weight off when they lose it that quickly because it's just not maintainable. And the reason that I promote more calories than most diet people is because you don't want to feel like you're on a diet. You wanna be able to eat enough food to where you don't feel restricted, where you have a lot of energy, where your mood is good, you can go out, you can exercise, you can enjoy your life, you can go out to eat, you can do all the things that you wanna do because this really is a lifestyle change. You need to change your lifestyle to keep it off forever and to have a healthy mindset and a healthy body. The other thing that I wanna say is if you aren't losing weight on a higher amount of calories and you are sedentary or like very lightly active, the best thing that you can do is get a Fitbit or you know a stepometer type watch or tracker and start tracking how active you are during the day. Just upping your activity by a little bit is gonna give you a bigger deficit, but it is also going to keep your body from losing excess muscle mass, which is very important if you wanna look good when you get to your goal weight. If you are very inactive and you are restricting your calories a lot, what happens is you become skinny fat and even when you get to your goal weight, you're not going to look the way that you want to. So if you wanna have a fit, tight, toned body, I highly recommend eating enough calories so that you can get in you know, 30 to 60 minutes of light activity a day or 30 minutes of light activity and like a 30 minute harder workout three times per week and shifting your focus from losing weight so rapidly to getting healthier, more physically fit and upping your fitness level so that when you get to your goal weight, you're gonna have more lean body mass and you are gonna look the way that you want to. So as usual for today's recipes, they will all be linked in the description box below with the calories, macros, and all that information. So let's get into what we're eating today. For our breakfast today, we're gonna to be making pumpkin pie oats. The first thing that we're going to need is three fourths cup of rolled oats, one half of a cup of canned pumpkin, one ripe spotty banana, two tablespoons of macadamia nuts, and one half teaspoon of both cinnamon and nutmeg. So all we're gonna do is take three cups of water and our oats and combine them into a saucepan over medium heat till it comes up to a boil. Add in our pumpkin, add in our spices and our banana, and then give it a good stir until it's all well and combined. You wanna let your oats cook for about five minutes until they're nice and thick and there isn't a lot of remaining water left. And then we're just gonna put this into a bowl, add our macadamia nuts, I like to add a tablespoon of maple syrup to the top because it just gives it some extra sweetness. And there is our simple, delicious breakfast. For lunch today, we're gonna be making Thai tofu burritos. First, we're gonna make our peanut spreads. We're gonna need two tablespoons of PB2, one tablespoon maple syrup, the juice of half of a lime, and one teaspoon of sesame seeds. We're just going to mix that all together in a small bowl. To make our burrito, we're gonna need some tofu. So I like to use this pre-baked tofu because it makes it very easy. One cup of steamed rice, some chopped cilantro and green onion, chopped cucumber and shredded carrots, and then a cup of lettuce. So we are going to spread our peanut sauce over our lavash bread. Then we're just gonna add in the rest of our ingredients and wrap this up like a burrito. We're gonna have this wrap with an apple. For dinner today, we're having nachos with jalapeno cilantro cream sauce. 
So the first thing that we're going to need for this is four corn tortillas. You can add whatever kind of vegetables you want to the top of your nachos, but I like to use tomatoes, red pepper, greens, and green onion. We're also going to need a cup of black beans, our cream sauce, and then two lime wedges. So the first thing that we're going to do is just take two of our tortillas, put them in our toaster, and let them toast for about one minute. You want to just make sure that they you push them down all the way. Then we're just gonna take them out after a minute, flip them around, and let them cook one more minute. So while my other two tortillas are cooking, I'm going to put these ones on a plate and cover them with my beans. And then to cut these really easily, I just stack them together and cut them into triangles. We're just going to put these on our plate, top them with whatever vegetables we like, our cream sauce, and a little bit of lime juice, and there you have super easy bean tacos. For snacks today, I wanted to give you guys some really easy on-the-go options that I love. One of my go-to bars is definitely the Lara Bar. Most of the Lara Bars are under four ingredients, and I love that you can always recognize them when you're reading them. They're typically just made out of dates, some types of nuts, and then whatever flavor you choose. So I really like cookie dough. It tastes amazing. The other on-the-go snack I love is Dr. McDougall's soups. These are really easy because you all you have to do is just add boiled water to them and then you have an instant soup that's delicious, made out of simple ingredients, low in sodium, and fat. All right, guys, that's it for today's meal plan. I hope you guys enjoy these recipes. Definitely, definitely try that cilantro jalapeno sauce for the nachos. It is amazing. I am totally obsessed with it ever since I started making it and just put it on everything. So for anybody who is in Oregon this weekend, I will be at Portland Veg Fest and I would love to meet you guys. So if you are going and you see me, make sure you come say hi. And if you really want to meet me and you're there at Portland Veg Fest, on Saturday, I'll be there on Saturday all day, and you can't find me, send me a DM on Instagram and I will come find you somewhere, because I really wanna meet you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.